We told you we'd be back. You're in big trouble, mister! W3L! 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 W3L management have announced that should you guys be victorious, you Iceman, Aaron Shaw, at the W3L Heavyweight Championship against the champion, you get looking shot all to yourself. And, and all Are you Now you've said that that could be a possibility that once again after 19 years I could be champion. Blows my mind. I'm here. My dad's here. We came for a fight. Well. Delft his feet, Jack. Throwing a plastic bin at him. Cannonball at the corner. Iceman squashes sharp, covers him. And he's got the pin. Iceman wins the match. Looking sharp. <laughs> what a shock you got tonight. I'll prove once again that there's life in the old dog. <laughs> Looking sharp. You said I'm a has been, you said. My day's gone. But it wasn't me who was laying in that ring for the three count. It was you, my friend. So July 2nd, get the belt and bring it. And make sure you give it a nice big cuddle. Because after it's done, when the smoke is cleared and you wipe the blood from your face, you will realize one thing. You no longer have that belt, my friend. And I'll be going home, down the motorway, with my shiny new W3L belt. Enjoy while you can. Get that camera in my face. Welcome to another edition of W3L Wrestling Showdown. It's Sunday afternoon and it's uh, ready for your fix. As you saw at the top of the show, the rules of May Day were simple. Iceman and Jack beat Looking Sharp and his mystery partner. Iceman gets an opportunity in the W3L World Wrestling Championship. And as you saw, Iceman and Jack got the job done, which means Iceman now gets his opportunity. You'll find out when at the conclusion of this broadcast. The Blood Tourist finally about to get his comeuppance. Well, we did see Iceman and Jack in tag action a few weeks back. And then again at Mayday.
and I can confirm at the conclusion of this uh, broadcast we'll look at seven deadly sins we'll also look at where Iceman will get that opportunity of the WPL World Heavyweight Championship it will be July 2nd in Grangemouth Town Hall an event frozen in hell Oh, that sends you goosebumps. It may be well held for looking sharp. He's got to defend against the European hardcore icon. And to even uh, add more fuel to the fire for looking sharp. It's going to be a false count anywhere. Right up. The Iceman's Alley, and as you saw there moments ago, Tormentor trying to jumpstart the match by attacking Iceman. And although there's countouts in this match, this could be looking sharp, frozen in hell. Falls count anywhere, the referee will be following them around. And of course, Iceman will have his son Jack corner just to keep an eye that looking would be up to his old tricks nice man of course the history says it all that the first ever W3L World Heavyweight Champion 19 years ago defeated Tim Strange and Mike Musso the man that looking sharp to the tail front all the way back at Old Year's Fight, which is also still available on the box office. I'm going to go back and look at that event. Looking sharp, grew up watching the Iceman on the Wrestling Channel many years ago. Remember that? The Wrestling Channel? I'm showing my age now. To grow up watching this European hardcore icon to now defending your championship against them and uh, it's not a fairy tale either because everything sharp's done. Oh it's a chop and, th and this is the match, believe it or not, all officially underway now. Nice man, full steam ahead. And as I say, it's not a fairy tale because Iceman's out for blood. And the blood tourists might be spilling some. As you saw the top of our programme, that Iceman is not happy when it comes to Luke King Sharp. Sweden of fairy tales, what a fairy tale it would be for the Iceman to recapture the WTL Heavyweight Championship after 19 years. The first champion, and then 19 years later, regain it. As you saw Jack watching on the sidelines, encouraging his dad to kick out there, he does. Hoping to follow in his dad's footsteps. Again, Jack competed at May Day. Competed a couple of weeks ago on Showdown. Perhaps Jack could uh, challenge for the Breakout or Showdown Championships in the near future. What story that would be? Iceman World Champion. Jack Breakout Showdown Champion. Tag team champions even. Tormentor in control. Doesn't want Nice Man to get to that vertical base, but he does let him. That could be a mistake. Want to keep Ice Man down. And there's a chop of his own. Tormenting the Iceman, which is probably what you don't want to do. 
Broadcast, we will give you a reminder of seven deadly sins, and we'll talk about frozen in hell. Tell you where, when. Tickets, of course, will be on sale www.w3lwrestling.com. Ice man now, and this is what you don't want, or at least if you're the tormentor. Front face lock, suplex, perhaps. Yep. Hits the suplex. Nice man. Battle press. Two only. Jack looking on. Oh, the tormentor now. Go to the eyes. The referee. Monishing tormentor for that, but. False count anywhere match, one has to believe that uh, Luke King Sharp will be going to those tactics. No count outs, no disqualifications. Knees to the spine. Battle press, look at him trying to keep the shoulders down as well. Hook in the leg. That was a really nice cover. An Iceman now forced to put his foot on the rope. Hooks the leg. Now Iceman forced to kick out, which also consumes energy as well. Or uses energy, I should say. Iceman now to that vertical base, Irish whip. Reverses it. There's an elbow. Iceman off the ropes. Close line. Here we go. Look at oh no! Somebody scraped the tormentor off the canvas. It's over. Here's a grab the corner suit double feature. Oh! Just in case you missed it. Oh! Nice man wins. Momentum growing as the ice man. Looks now to the Blood Tourist, and you can bet the Blood Tourist has been watching this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that does it for another week. However, we're not going to leave you until I tell you about Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins will come to you June 19th. It comes from the Carnegie uh, Leisure Centre in Dunfermline. Uh, you're going to see the Seven Deadly Sins tournament, and you're going to see... Tier Zero, Taylor Bryden, Ryan Rood. Uh, also, you're going to see Tag Team Breakout and Showdown Champion. Sakiba Ali, the other half of the W3L Tag Team Champion. Former Breakout Champion, Roderick Jones. The Captain of the High Seas, Captain Yoon G. Mackey. And you will see Ragnar as well. The winner of this will get a shot at the W3L Wrestling Heavyweight Championship at resolution and imagine who it could be it could be Iceman or it could be Lu King Sharp but just it depends really Frozen in Hell will come to you uh, from the Grangemouth Town Hall doors open at 1.30 first bell is at 2pm tickets available at www.w3lwrestling.com Saturday 2nd July it's when uh, Lu King Sharp will defend the W3L Heavyweight Championship against Iceman. This is the first time Iceman has managed to get a WTL Wrestling Heavyweight Championship match and could it be the first time in 19 years that he recaptures the championship. What a story it would be but also what a match this is going to be. And there's only one way to get your tickets for both Seven Deadly Sins and Frozen in Hell. Once again it's W3LWrestling.com don't miss these two events, they will sell out very, very quickly, so I advise you to book them as quickly as you can. Until next Sunday, that's all from me, Brian D. 
We'll see you for Wrestling Showdown next week. Goodbye.